those knees up, people. We're not dead yet. Hey, Kathy? And stretch. Good. I'll be coming around to check your form in a minute. This might seem odd, but just to confirm, there is Fantastic! No I'm so proud of you ladies. Unlock your knees, Harriet. Aunt Kathy? Open your hips, Martha. Am I a broken record? Aunt Kathy, there is no one here. Jenny, what is it I've always told you since you were little? If what you want seems out of sight, imagination steers you right. Close your eyes. Visualize. Every detail, every stitch. That's the way to make the switch. <laughs> so are you visualizing teaching your yoga class, or...? Janet, I can show you these poses from morning until night, but if you refuse to practice, nothing will change. I don't want to hear excuses, Missy. You find a way. That one doesn't listen. No, she certainly doesn't. Hey! Why are you back here, Jenny? I already told you. You told me all the bad things. Dwelled. Cried until your dad had to go over to Albertson's for more Kleenex. It was just all so awful. I doubt it was all awful. In all that time you were in New York, did you ever once allow yourself to imagine the best case scenario? Visualize your life with everything going right? Aunt Kathy, when you can't pay your rent and your boss is an idiot and the only show that you book gets canceled, imagination is just useless. No, honey. That's when you need your imagination most of all. But what about when every door gets shut in your face? You create new ones in your mind. Open those. Change the game. Make your own rules. Feel the burn! The burn? I know you can go deeper than that, Maggie. Lean! All right. Well done. Some of you have definitely been putting in the time. To the rest of you, I need you to practice. Get a few friends together. A community keeps you accountable, people. They'll push you through when you're ready to give up. Ugh. That's just an excuse, Virginia. I'm sure if you can find at least one person who's willing to be your co-pilot. <sighs> Superstar host, boss man, and bus boy all rolled into one. That's me. Biggest idiot on the planet. Still. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. Look, this has been the most magnificent New Year's Eve bash that Shala has ever seen. I mean, you're beautiful. Hey, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're back, man. Uh, look, I know some of you came from a long ways out to be here tonight. Thank you, uh, truly. Grandpa Tad and Grams would have been thrilled to see so many of their friends here. Now, as the old man used to say, Sometimes the longest way round is, is the shortcut home. Hi, Luke. I, uh, I ran into your mom outside. She said I should come in and warm up. You want something to drink? No, no, I, I heard your voice. That, that wasn't a question, smiles. Come on. Double scoop of mix. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six minis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and one big old sucker smack dab in the middle. The Janet Smiley special. One cute little marshmallow snowflake floating on the waves of a dark hot chocolate sea. Isn't that it?
So, what brings you to Durango after the holidays? I mean, most people do it the other way around. Well, you know me, I was never one to follow the crowd. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. Uh, how long are you staying for? Uh, I don't know. What? But you got your show. I mean, big things to head back for. Turns out you need money to put on a show. And investors who don't get cold feet the week before and throw everything into chaos. Shoot. Well, if it's worth anything, I know what that feels like. I can picture this. Five days away from New Year's. Four acts on the bill. 300 people confirmed to fill this place to bursting. Two different cater companies at war over the shape of the chips to go with the crab dip. <laughs> and the one man that's supposed to keep it all running smoothly gets the stomach flu. Oh no, your dad? He's fine now, but mom and I sure had a New Year's to remember. <laughs> and what we're we gonna do? Cancel? No. It's like when we were back in high school drawing these smiles. Half the set falls down, step around it. Sound goes out, raise your voice. I don't care what the problem is. The show will still go on. Oh god, I really could have used you in New York. <laughs> I'm sure if you could find at least one person who's willing to be your co-pilot. I've got a question for you. I know when we had this conversation three years ago, things didn't end how either of us planned, but... Operation Interloper Ejection is go. All Wi-Fi hacker units report in. Red 7, standing by. Red 3, standing by. Red 5, standing by. Red 6, standing by. Wait. Why do I have to be Porkins and you get to be- Luke, I'm going to give New York another try. And I want you to come with me. What? Uh, <laughs> Jen, I- Accelerate to attack speed! This is it, boys. You're all clear, kid. Let's blow this thing and go home. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. I have a place we can stay. I made some really good friends. Good people. Like my family. You'll love them. Smiles. Come I can't on, I'm... it'll be just like we always dreamed it would be. Jen Smiley and Luke Welker take Manhattan <laughs> together again. <laughs> Gee, it's great to be together. I tell you, if you value your life, you'll run! of two. Welcome to the neighborhood. 